My name is Pat Anderson, and I'm a member of the uh, Stride Ministry. And I'm October is Cancer Awareness Month. Here at the Eastgate Church, and as a part of the Stride Ministry, I'm here to share my story in regards to cancer. I'm gonna share my story with you as a caregiver because along with the uh, cancer patients and survivors, the caregivers are a vital part of this journey. A caregiver is one, in my opinion, that is there to meet the needs of a patient uh, who is uh, going through crisis and um, needing the assistance of someone to be with them. I am from a family of 16 children. I am the 13th child. I have lost 13 siblings. 11 of those siblings is due to some form of cancer. Lymphoma cancer, ovarian cancer, rectal cancer, lung cancer, leukemia, and my mother was a 50 year survivor of lymphoma cancer. And through their, through their journeys, I was a part of the journey as a caregiver, along with other family members. And to, to the caregivers of the uh, clients, it was very vital to have a team in place, which was my family, to assist me through this journey because as a caregiver, you are going through the journey with the patient. I will uh, talk about my last role as a caregiver, which was in uh, January. Uh, one, one of my nephews was diagnosed with kidney cancer and at the age of 59 years old and it was nothing that he had been aware of. It was diagnosed in stage four, and uh, he was hospitalized, and uh, his wife was there until she used all of her leave at work and had to go back to work. And so I became his uh, caregiver during the daytime and while he was in the hospital and at home. And so I was there to speak with the doctors uh, on behalf of he and his wife uh, and children. I was there to uh, be there when the nurses uh, were busy. Uh, I, I made sure that he was taken care of and uh, I was totally uh, committed to him and, and my family uh, and going through the journey with him. He and I uh, prayed together, talked together. Uh, he made his uh, final arrangements uh, together and uh, I was strength for his uh, family and strength for him. And uh, uh, all the way to the end, uh, when, he, uh, when he succumbed to the uh, cancer, God called him home. So as a caregiver, that was uh, very hard for me also, because even to this day, I still have emotional feelings regarding, you know, once you become that caregiver, you are part of that journey. So when that journey ends, it doesn't end for you. You're still left to uh, deal with uh, the remnants of that. And, uh, but knowing that he's in the arms of Jesus, uh, you, can, you can make it through it. So as caregivers, we, we take on a lot of the uh, emotions and care of our loved ones that are suffering. So remember, when you take on this role, it's not something where you're just gonna sit and babysit. No, no, you're taking on a life that is trusting you, depending on you, and you're to loving and love them and uh, take care of them and just be there for whatever need that they need. 
and uh, continue to pray, always praying for them. Some of the challenges of a caregiver is sometimes the uh, patient uh, have bad days, like we all have good and bad days, and uh, it's hard not to take things personally that they are saying or doing, because sometimes things that they say or things that they do uh, is hurting, but it's because they're hurting and what they're going through. So we can't take uh, the things that they say personally. We just have to uh, pray and uh, remember that they are the ones that are going through the suffering. You know, and that that is easier said than done because uh, the patient is always on your mind. Uh, you're forever giving uh, updates uh, to other family members. They're calling you uh, to find out what's going on because you're you're the caregiver. You're there at all times, so it's sort of, it's sort of like you wake up with it and you lay down with it. So it's kind of hard to take care, you know, think about yourself through this journey because even though his wife and children were off on the weekends, I was still there because that's where my heart was. So uh, when you're told to take care of yourself, it's uh, easier said than done, but after he uh, went home to be with the Lord on July the 17th, then I began to take care of myself. We must be uh, patient, understanding, uh, put on some tough skin because Sometimes you're gonna need it. Uh, you're gonna get uh, upset. Your feelings are gonna be hurt, but uh, we must remember that we are the caregivers and what they're going through is much more than what we're going through. All caregivers ask for help through your journey and our patients I would ask the patients to be mindful of the caregivers because their journey is uh, a difficult one. Also, seeing a loved one go through this journey. Here at Eastgate, the Stride Ministry is available, ready, and willing to assist in any way that we can with our cancer survivors. Here at Eastgate, our ministry is very confidential. We are there in any capacity. If you need a your caregiver to have a respite, we are there to sit with you, listen to you, do chores for you, run errands for you, whatever the need may be. We are available and willing to do that. So please reach out to the Stride Ministry here at Eastgate Church for any assistance that, that you need, and we will be more than willing to assist you. And remember, this is a ministry that is built on confidentiality, strength, love, and care, and devotion, and commitment to you. God bless.